I grew up as a girl in the rural South when being a girl or a woman had severe limitations on what you could do, what you could dream, what you could aspire to be. I discovered that in classrooms and in my own experiences, but especially I was aware of it once I took a job in media. I'm Pat Mitchell. Welcome to Yes We Can. It was there I think it began to be seriously connected to my work and the opportunity I saw for me to make a difference. Television time to discuss the changing role of women in today's society. Producing and hosting Woman to Woman was one of the most mind-expanding uh, opportunities. Each day, we would choose a topic that we knew women somewhere in our audience were struggling with or finding solutions for. And among the topics that we felt compelled to include was the topic of survivors of sexual abuse. When we convened that program that day, um, I didn't think of it as a personal topic, actually. And I sat there very calmly, asked the questions, led the conversation. This was an extraordinary group of women. But they shared what had happened to them and how they had overcome it. But toward the end of the hour, I think I began to feel something that was now, I recognize, a beginning of the recovery of my own memory. I knew a lot of women working in the media industry who were survivors of childhood sexual abuse. But at that time, I had completely suppressed my own memory of also being a survivor. There was clearly something happening inside that was a recognition that I was not hearing other people's stories, I was hearing my own. But I managed to get through the hour, thanked all of these incredibly brave women who had come forward and shared their stories with us. And I walked to my dressing room, closed the door, and collapsed. Clearly, there was something deep inside that needed to be recognized and reckoned with. So through therapy, I was able to do that. Sapria is doing actually what some of us have tried to do through books, through television programs, through documentaries, and I've done all of those on sexual abuse, but doing it in the way that uh, Sapria is doing it with data, with we know this is happening, we know this, this can be done. It was a little harder in the 80s and 90s as survivors wanted to reach out to each other to find ways to do that. And now, of course, digital technology connects us all no matter where we are in the world. So to have uh, an opportunity for a woman, wherever she may be, isolated as she may be, to have the opportunity to go online and, and hear from other survivors and hear ways of, of towards healing or ways of preventing, that's an extraordinary um, change in the whole landscape of dealing uh, with this extraordinary issue. To think of a world without sexual abuse, um, what, a, what a wonderful world that would be. I'm honored to have been asked to be the honorary chairperson of this event and that I can say to my friends how much I appreciate their support, how grateful I am that they responded to the invitation. And I think for me, just stepping forward in this way into this kind of very visible position it is again another step not only on my own healing journey, but it is more significantly a step toward um, sharing a story that I hope will have impact for others.